What's up everyone, this is Save Knight, and welcome to another Let's Play series. Today's game is brought to you by Falcom. Oof, had heard that name in a while. Not since, like, Nintendo Super Nintendo. The Legendary Dragon Slayer. A sword forged in the glorious Xanadu Kingdom, at the height of its prosperity. Designed to slay the great King Dragon Galsus, who is hitherto deemed unstoppable. Yet, when the dust settled from the great battle, the kingdom was simply gone, without a trace. That's not good. Nihon Falcom Corporation presents... <clears throat> and welcome everyone to Xanadu Next. For the PC, 2005 Nihon Falcom. Jeez. License published by XC Games Marvelous USA. I have no idea who they are. Uh, I've been meaning to get to this game for a while now. Uh, I've had it in my Steam library for at least a couple of weeks, but just holidays, post holiday depression, work, things like that. I hadn't got around to getting to it. Uh, I actually don't know anything about this game other than it's part of the overall Dragon Slayer saga. Uh, more specifically, I think it's supposed to be based on uh, Dragon Slayer 2, which is called Dragon Slayer 2 Xanadu. So I don't know if Xanadu Next is a sequel to that, or if it's, uh, what they call that, a spiritual successor, or if it's even related to it at all. I don't know. I've never played any of the Dragon Slayer games, except for, I want to say it's Dragon Slayer 4, and we got it over here in the U.S., as Legacy of the Wizard, but I think in like Europe and Japan and all that, it's called uh, Dragon Slayer 4 the Drossel Family, but in the US, Legacy of the Wizard, and I never actually beat that one. I got like maybe halfway, and I just got annoyed with it, and just, oh excuse me, like just rage quit. If anything, I might go back and try it again, I don't know. Uh, I did play Faxanadu, which was kind of like a spin-off of that too. I don't think it's related to it at all, except for you find the Dragon Slayer, like, at the end to kill the final boss, which is like an alien or something. But the actual Dragon Slayer games, no idea. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, X button. Okay. Yep. Now this game actually gives you... Ah, shit. Gives you the option to play with either a, a keyboard and mouse or the controller, or both at the same time, apparently. Okay, wait, how many was that? Was it six? Uh, damn it. Uh, ah, yeah, good enough. I speak of a time when I traveled with an irritating individual, an awkward man, devoid of all social graces. Okay, X button. But through these feelings, wait, but though these feelings are the first that ever came to me, my mind always returns to the words he spoke in his later years. There is no path to follow that would serve me better. Thus, I walk that path, and I do not waver. As I reminisce here, I find it all rather embarrassing. For I had judged the man unfairly, never truly understanding him. Excerpt from The Last Night, Chapter 2. The Black Bride by Charlotte L. Wells. Okay. I don't know idea who any of that is. Also, uh, when you run the game directly through Steam... It gives you an option to either jump straight into the game or to um, go to like a configuration menu. So I did that first just to like check the settings and they were just complete garbage. Like 640 resolution, rough, uh, um, I think like frame rate or something and like 30 refresh rate. Freaking 16 bit graphics and just it was just complete garbage. So I kind of fixed everything and... To, and adjusted my monitor size and all that. 
So if it looks different from how you may have played it, just, that's why I changed all the settings around. Just quite the broom. I've never, I guess, I've never heard that word. I've never seen such a deep fog. Is there anything where it's char? And I heard the lake was large, but seeing it is truly believing. The distance from Olsten to Harlech is quite staggering. Boatman, how much further to the island? Well, reckon we're about to the halfway point, give or take. Still so far to go. Lake Orwell is not aptly named. Tis more an ocean than a lake. The name don't do it justice, I'll say. Wait, <clears throat> the name don't do it justice. I'll say, though, I'm a mite surprised. Faring across such a pretty young thing, and here you're going to be studying at the Royal Academy to boot. Ah, oh, you flatter me, sir. Harlick Island ain't all that big, but you can't take two steps without tripping over an ancient ruin. You say you're studying archaeology? Well, miss, you came to the right place. God, he got this, like, southern, like, slang and, like, old-timey speech going at the same time. It's like, no. So that fella your bodyguard or something? From his get-up, I'd say he's one of them knights. Rare breed these days. He is of the North Sea Cavaliers, and we come from the same orphanage. North Sea, you say? Quite the pedigree. Here a man's tested sword to claw against a lion before he can rightly call himself one of those. He is a top-class swordsman, to be sure. Yeah, let's just talk about me while I'm sitting right there. Although, the war did dampen his spirits a bit. The War of the Knights, eh? Yeah, don't blame him. Fighting hard for king and country, and then all at once, every one of them gets to boot? No honor, no nothing. Just told to disband or they're get hunted down, like they're criminals or something. Lost their livelihood, too. Minister got it all. Forced most of them to start working as mercenaries. Your fellow there is lucky to have you. Still don't know what in blazes Prime Minister Zordius was, I guess, was thinking. <clears throat> this fog. Souping up on us, is it? Best keep a sharp eye. There may be something for you to see out there. Truly? Do you think we're able to see it? Ah, so you've heard about it, have you? Of course. Tis the main reason I've come. Should have guessed as much. You are quite a fascinating last, after all. Ah, there it is, out yonder. Got a name for it around these parts. We call it Strange Rock. Lake Orwell's famous castle Strange Rock. Xanadu next. Like, even the actual, like, Xanadu wording itself is actually kind of how they spell it out in, like, the fact Xanadu game, if you actually watch the, uh, the title screen. Okay, see, that I kind of remember from, uh, Legacy of the Wizard. You had to find four crowns and then find the Dragon Slayer and then use the crowns to, I can think, unlock, like, the last place to, like, kill a dragon or something. Like, I don't remember... Because I only got like maybe like halfway through. I found like maybe two crowns, if even that. But it's like a family of four, and each of them have like a special ability, or each one can use like certain items used to unlock parts of the dungeon to let other family members go through so they can unlock other parts to let others go through. And just it was like a long, tedious process, and only certain characters can use certain items. You have to figure out which ones they can and can't use. and which is a lot of headache. I was very impatient when I was younger, when it came to stuff like that. 
missing all this horrible stuff happening. I'm guessing this happened in Xanadu, like, you know, Dragon Slayer 2 Xanadu. Like I said, I've never played any of those. I might maybe, like, touch on them just to see what those were about. Harlike Village. You've got a great time in coming here when you did. Castle only shows itself when there's mist hanging over the lake. Orwell's Castle Strange Rock. Everybody around these parts knows about it. Good for tourism, I warrant. Interesting. Pity it vanished as quickly as it did, though. Would have liked to get a better look at it. Sorry, miss. You'd have no luck there. Darn thing always runs away when it gets too close, all shy-like. Some say it's just a mirage, and that there's an old trickster witch making it appear and disappear. Either way, if you're here long enough, you'll get to see it again. Lots of times, too, I bet. Glad to hear it. And no talk of Strange Rocks complete without bringing up the Legend of the Sword, Too Long Jan. Too Long Jan? If I'm not mistaken, that would translate from the old tongue as Dragon Slayer. My, what a glorious name for a sword. Surprise a scholarly lass like you don't already know about it. Legends say that the Dragon Slayer sleeps within the darkest depths of Strange Rock. <coughs> I'll just scuttlebutt the... That was scuttlebutt. Nobody even knows if the castle's real, much less that fancy sounding sword. Still, ain't a castle that only appears in the mist, and a holy sword that rests therein? It's like a fairy tale. Just hearing about it makes my heart beat faster. Hi, ah, you've got spirit, miss. If you want to know more, talk to the locals. They got me beat on all the details. I certainly will. Thank you so much for all you've done, kind sir. May your return be swift. My pleasure. Good luck out there. Be sure and take care now. Well, we made it. I suppose the first thing to do would be to secure our lodgings now. Alright then. Off we go. E, uh, e? I guess. First step of our adventure to unraveling. The mystery around that peculiar old castle begins now. Come, we've no time to waste. Either you're really tall or she's very young. Or just tiny. I don't know your ages or anything like that. I didn't read backstory or anything. Three years have passed since the War of the Knights. And with that struggle, a man whom I had loved as my brother back at the orphanage had suddenly lost his honor and his way. He was adrift. I could not bear to see my brother in such a state, so I invited him to join me on this expedition. Looking back, it truly was the first step on an adventure. Neither of us had any inkling of the tribulations to come. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. So here we are. It's not a bad room at all, really. Rather cozy, in fact. It should make an excellent base of operations. Which brings us to our mission here. We're to be the first explorers to uncover the mysteries of Castle Strange Rock. Exciting, no? However, despite its fame, there's very little information about it. 
All we truly know, in fact, is that it appears on the lake when the mist rolls in. That's why I think our best course of action is to explore the ruins scattered across this island. Between the ruins and any local legends we may happen upon, I'm certain we'll find some clues to aid our search. I suppose the best place to start is with the townsfolk. Let's ask around and see what we can learn, shall we? If we split up, we'll cover more ground. Good luck! Okie dokie. Okay, that's... That's the move. There's nothing. What I just... Okay, left and right does that. Up and down does that. That does nothing. Okay, no, that talks to people. Ah, if your bags got a bit overloaded, feel free to leave some stuff here. I'll make sure to keep a close eye on things. Nope, that goes out. Okay, no, it's the talk at first, okay? And then X, okay. Something needs to take with you? This is your room at the inn. You may leave items or money in Char's care for safekeeping while you're out. Tap marked 1, 2, and 3 each represent bags available for you wait to you for inventory storage, and the buttons marked Manage can be clicked on to open the money storage window. To store or retrieve items here, simply drag and drop them in or out of the slots in the inventory storage bags. To store or retrieve money, use the buttons that select an amount, and then click the up arrows for storage and down arrows for withdrawal. Okay. Okay, why is inventory? Level 1, Novice Fighter, 0 XP, 30, 75 HP, 5 to... Can I... Okay, yeah. Okay. After Strength, affects physical attack power. Tele... Affects magic power. Reflex, affects hit accuracy and evasion. Constitution, physical defense and vitality. Mind, magic resistance. Okay, that's 5. Attack 26, magic 13. Defense 16, resistance 13. Okay, that's... Physical magic, physical magic, accuracy, evade, okay, 13. Dagger, one-handed, attack 15, skill thrust, profic, whatever. F uh, okay, that's your, st okay. Sometimes called a hand blade due to its unusual width. This extra thick dagger is made to be concealed for quick drawing and self-defense. Buckler, defense five, a small shield that f attaches to the arm. Featherweight and extremely easy to handle, but not very durable. Okay. Oops. Nope. Nope. There we go. Wait. This. Okay, that was what? R1. Okay, L1. Okay. Then. Okay, start is the thing. Okay, select is that. Okay. Got 20 minutes, I didn't really do anything yet. There's so much dialogue. Frida, are you departing, Sir Knight? Things can be quite dangerous outside the gates, so be sure to take care now. Just say, who the hell are you? I'm eating here. Don't bother me. Is this about the incident? You here to blame me like everyone else? I tell you, it was his own damn fault he got killed. Couldn't have done a thing about it. He provoked the fella, he did. Taking on someone so much bigger and stronger than him. Just what the hell was he thinking? People need to know their place in the world. They crave it. You gotta know when to say when, you get me? If they don't back down when they see the other guy can slice them in two, what the hell do you expect is gonna happen? That's a good point. I remember... This was like a couple years ago. I can't remember what was going on. It was like a protest or something, but the, the dumb fucks were like protesting in like the middle of the highway at night and one of them got hit and then they tried to sue the driver and it's like no your dumb ass was on a highway in the middle of the night and it's your own dumb fault for getting hit like if anything they should sue you for fucking up their car i don't remember what it was about though sandra sandra a new face i see welcome my name is sandra i'm a troubadour come to compose songs about this rich and fascinating land. These lonely ruins inspire such grand thoughts, such profound poetry. It's as if they call to my heart. Please, won't you listen to my song before you go? As birds trill their timeless songs and flowers stand in bloom, the Khan named Kublai lays base of his thousand-year tomb. Brick on brick, never beaten, to further his fancy anew. 
heaven made real and earthly Eden hereafter called Xanadu. I think Xanadu is actually like some type of term that means like paradise or something. Because um, I don't remember what language it was in, but I know it's like it means paradise. Hick. Oh, like he's drunk or something. Hey, aren't you a knight? So young. Back when I was a spring chicken myself, it was a pretty big adventure too, you know. Let me tell you something, youngin. The hardest thing in the world, the world, is figuring out what's right for yourself. Find your own lot in life, or something. So don't you go making a fool of yourself in some bar like this old man, okay? Or in the field. Make a name for yourself. Be remembered, not dismembered. Oof. That's actually pretty good advice. Barman Alcott. Well, if it ain't our knight in shining armor, how's the room? No problems? Where does you two came here looking for information? Information on Castle Strange Rock. Guess it's on account of the ruins. We've got all kinds around here. Hunters, troubadours, you name it. If you want my advice, start with them. It's your best bet. But your inn only has like two rooms? That's not a very big inn. Guessing people don't really come here all that often. Nope, that's unlocked. Strange Rock? Yeah, I see Strange Rock all the time. Hard to miss it in my line of work. I ain't got nothing to say about it, though. I've seen it, sure, but I don't know nothing special. It shows up on misty days like this when it does. You often hear a bell chime before it appears, too. If you try to get close to it and it vanishes. Everybody around here knows all that, though. Might be more to learn if you dig for it. There are lots of ruins on this here island. Lots of history to go with them. Heck, they even found some new ruins right here in town the other day. I guess. Lazarus, fancy that, a knight. Truly a rare sight in this day and age. Hmm? Your face. I swear I've seen it somewhere before. Oh, well, no matter. I'm Lazarus, a mercenary by trade. While I probably... Ooh. Need not tell a knight. In order to equip armor or weapons, you'll need to have the appropriate amount of stamina. Beautiful plate or a handsome sword are wonderful to own, but you'll look a fool if you have an aptitude to bear them. If there's something you've forgotten, I will gladly refresh your training by reviewing a wide range of tactics. And Nilheim, or Nilheim? Dragon Slayer, you say? Hmm. Rumor says it rests deeper than Castle Strange Rock. Such a sword did truly exist, that I most assuredly wish to acquire it. Fetch a pretty sum from an aristocrat, after all. Or I. whatever. He just said stuff. Merchant Baggins. Well now, welcome. What do we have here? You supposed to be a knight or something? The night hunt might be over, but I still wouldn't recommend walking around in that getup. Let some loyalists snitch you out and get you thrown in jail. That ain't just some costume, though. You're the real deal, ain't you? North Seas, if I'm not mistaken. You've got to be damn near the last of your kind out there. One of Furnival's men? No. Poor bastard got public executed out of here. Ooh. He and the rest of you helped out so much in the Leylands early days. And with thanks to you again, all your honor, property, and land is taken, and your leader's killed. That blows. Makes me sick thinking about it. Marquis Farnable was a good, honest man, and North Seas used to be the best. Well, you ain't got a thing to worry about with me. I won't tell anyone who you are. Don't think no one else here would turn you in either. Neither. Still, you best find yourself a new job. Get as far away from knighthood as you can. Soldier, mercenary, take whatever you can. Wait, take whatever you can get and never look back. Oop. Wait, come to think about it, I heard about one of North Sea Knights that served Marquis Furnival's right-hand man. And apparently he's the only one whose whereabouts are still completely unknown. An Imperial search party even came here looking for him at one point, but got nothing. I don't suppose. You know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. You're a customer, and that's all that you are. If it's good enough for you, then it's sure as hell good enough for me. Okay. Got weapons and stuff, and my things are beeping. Give me a second. Get the fuck off my cord. Okay. About the weapon shop. All sorts of equipment can be purchased at the weapon shop. At the top of the shop menu, you'll see tabs designating various categories. Simply click the type of gear you wish to browse. You may also sell unwanted items here. To do so, simply click on the item in your own inventory. Okay. Okay, so there's like stat-based equipment stuff, kind of like Diablo.
Okay, cleaver, one-handed, 25 attack, skill insight. A kitchen knife designed for cutting meat. Makes a formidable weapon as well. Mace, attack 30, sneak, attack. A blunt weapon tipped with a weighted ball. Difficult to use, but effective. Not many knights remain who would choose this particular armament. I think that's what it says. Fucking money is hiding the thing. Gladius, one-handed, attack 35, skill knockback. A sword forms a classic legionary fashion, and refined with a little cutting edge but light and easy to use. Z-Hounder. Two-handed weapon, attack 60, skill intercept. An enormous two-handed blade nearly the height of a full-grown adult when standing upright. Requires considerable training to wield comfortably. Okie dokie, no money for any of that. Where is my money even? Is this my money here? I see G's, I'm guessing that's money, so okay. And that looks like a key, I have none of that, okay. Buckler, okay, I got buckler. Small shield, defense 10. Shield fashioned from animal hides set upon an iron frame. Popular choice for defense, even among women. Round shield, a slightly convex shaped circular shield, great for defending oneself against otherwise lethal strikes to the neck or head. Highly sought by experienced warriors. Ooh, 2,000? Jeez, that's a big jump. For only like double the defense, that's like four times the price. What the hell? Robe, defense 7. Cloth garment designed for comfort and unrestricted movement, although intended as defensive wear, many purchase robes like this for travel. I don't have the money to use it. Okay. Cloth jerkin, defense 14. A sleeveless undershirt made of cloth, although reinforced with metal sheets at vital locations, its defensive capabilities can't match those of actual armor. Leather armor, defensive wear made of tanned hides. Popular item due to its lightweight and flexibility. True standard amongst armor craftsmen. Padded armor. Stuffed cloth padding sewn onto a chainmail base. Grants its wear resistance against blunt trauma. Ringmail. Armor made from countless metal rings sewn onto a hide base. Sturdy and reliable. Okay, so that's just chainmail with like... Yeah, cloth padding sewn onto chainmail. That's ringmail onto leather. Okay. Cap. A basic cap that barely covers the head, yet has also been imbued with the power to deflect magic seals. Okay, there's like protects against silence, I guess. Diadem. Mystical corona created by sorcerers at the Royal Academy. He who wears it becomes resistant to fire. Ooh. Lamellar Helm. A helmet crafted by banding together metal plates. Very lightweight. It grants its wear resistance to ice. Damn. Horned Helmet. 15. Helmet of choice for Vikings from the north during their pillages. Resistant to lightning. Damn. So it's all like status. I mean, elemental stuff. And like 2,000. Jeez. Okay. Pleased to meet you. My name's Patty. Are you new, mister? Did you come to Harlock on that boat? Right, you're here so you can find Castle Strange Rock, right? I want to find it too. Hey, mister, did you hear the news? I actually found ruins in town. I thought I'd sneak in and have a look around. Before I had the chance, they went and locked them up. So unfair. Can't believe they did that. I was going to find the Dragon Slayer, too. Zoe. We're entertainers from another land. I guess you could even say we're exotic dancers, since we've come from afar. I don't think that means what you think it means. This isn't our first time in Harleg, though. We toured here several years ago as well. Things seem a bit different from what I remember. The air feels stormy, perhaps, or troubled. Guess the war lingers on in the spirit. <clears throat> lingers on in spirit, even though it's ended. The lakes of Lindale are widely regarded as hubs of peace and tranquility in these chaotic times, though. To feel such unease here is troubling. Wait, so she's dancing? With, is that what you call dancing? Okay, I guess. Hello, knight. Aren't you a fine specimen? We're traveling entertainers here at Harlock on tour. You're welcome to watch us dance as long as you'd like. Okay, I guess that's dancing. I've seen worse. Purposeful young woman. So while I was out exploring the ruins the other day, I got my hands on this odd sort of card. It has an unusual design emblazoned on it, like some old spirit or deity. A card, you say? May I see it? Hmm. Just as I thought. It's a guardian card. Sealed within it is the power of one of Harlock's many ancient spirits. Oh, sounds like I may have stumbled on something good. 
So pray tell, what are these guardians? Gods, angels, spirits, watchers, take your pick. Whatever tradition surrounded these guardians here in the Lindell Lakes region. When a baby is born, it's taken to the spirit sanctum to be baptized and infused with the power of a guardian. Huh, okay. What purpose did that serve exactly? Well, they say that a person's abilities and disposition are decided upon by the star of destiny at the very moment of birth. Physical stamina, magical proficiency, personal fortune, and weapon mastery alike are all determined largely by the heavens. Of course, anyone can learn these things through practice and growth, but it's impossible to deny that inherent talents exist and vary from person to person. So, we borrow the mystic power of guardians to help compensate for our shortcomings or uh, augment our natural facilities. Natural faculties, you could say. I guess facilities would work as well. Interesting. I seem I've learned something today. Something potentially advantageous, I might add. Probably not as advantageous as you like it to be, I'm afraid. See, a guardian's bond lasts a lifetime. It's not something you can trade up. Once it's in, it's in. Only one. And it ain't coming out. That's why new mothers get all in the tizzy when it comes to pick out a guardian for their baby. I see. So this guardian card I've got is only useful for newborns and mothers to be, huh? Doesn't sound like quite the fine I was hoping for. Nope. Don't expect to get much money for it. It's only one lady with a newborn here in Harleck. She's already made her decision. I guess? Sorry to disappoint. Ain't seen you around these parts before. You're a Taurus? Or a treasure hunter, maybe? Can dig up the ruins? Either way, you're out of luck, I reckon. Town's closed up tight right now. Nobody's getting in or out on account of the murder. Seems some fellow got himself killed over in Clover Ruins out past the North Gate. Just happened, too. Guess you best make for the most of it and amuse yourself here in town till the whole thing blows over. Oops, sucks for that person. The girl that kind of sure has been coming here an awful lot lately. She's in and out of the ruins all day, every day. I have to wonder what she does in there. Night. Wait. Well enough, it ain't a night. Don't see a man of your kind anymore. Here to explore the ruins? Be interested to know that there's a brand new set of them right here in town. Discovered by yours truly just the other day. Started digging the foundation for a new storehouse when suddenly the ground gave way. And there they were. Needless to say, it was quite a surprise. I mean, I knew there were a lot of ruins on Harlick Island. But it's pretty absurd to discover new ones right under the town. Pretty crazy, huh? We're afraid the kids might get in, so the area's all locked up at the moment. But the priestess at the Spirit Sanctum's got the key, if you're interested. The ruins are on the east side of town, the Spirit Sanctum opposite of them, on the west side. Tell Lady Please say, I guess, that Spence sent you. I wanted to talk to you. So there's a guardian sealed in this card, huh? If only I could use his powers myself. It's where I'd make my job a lot easier. Friday, medicines, keys, tomes, and other oddities here. See anything you like? About the curio shop. The town's curio shop sells a wide variety of items that may prove useful to you and your expedition. In addition to health potions, <clears throat> you can also find keys and spell books amongst the offerings here. To browse the shelves, simply click on the category of tabs at the top of the merchandise window and then click the specific item you wish to buy. You'll be prompted to confirm your choice and if the price is acceptable, the item is yours. You may also sell unwanted items here. To do so, simply click on the item in your inventory and Spence will make you an offer. Alrighty. Heal Potion S, a medicine used to heal one's injuries. <coughs> a medicine used to heal one's injuries. In this region, it's always sold in a green bottle. Resorts 100. Oh, heal Potion M, 500. Ooh, excuse me, Heal Potion L, 1000. Oof. Okay. Antidote, instantaneously neutralizes any poison affecting the body. It's best to have a few on you. It's best to have a few of these on hand, just in case. Panacea. Recipe handed down through generations. Instantly counteracts any and all status ailments. Black Onyx. A small piece of jet black onyx containing tremendous magical energy. When unleashed, this energy creates a temporary vortex between the ruins and the village. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Like 500? Yeah. Spellbook. Contains the incantation for the Needle Level 1 spell. Those who read it will learn the ways of this magic. Okay, fire 1, Ice 1, Thunder 1. Okay. 200 apiece. That's a lot of money. Key. A magical skeleton key capable of opening any standard lock. Loses its power after a single use. Of course it does. Why not? Mm -hmm. 
Ah, damn freight lift's busted. Can't do any work till it's fixed. Oh, I guess it's broken wherever it's at. So you've come to look for the castle, have you? Best just to give up, I say. It's nothing more than a trick of the eye. Look for what's not there, and all you've got is wasted time. Alrighty. Oh, people. Ah, newcomer to our fair town. Welcome. Welcome to Harlek. You just came out of that boat, right? This island is amazing. Reese coming off the lake feels great on the skin, doesn't it? This isn't a very big town, but I think you'll find it has all the comforts of home. Hope you very much <clears throat> I hope very much that you enjoy your stay here. Ooh. Aqua. Der. Yeah, I don't think I want... Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay. Looks like an oxygen meter. Been about, oh, ten years or so since that strange rock started showing itself in the lake. First, it was just a hazy shadow hanging over the water. People got to saying it was a ghost ship. Only became clear it's a castle about two or three years ago. People started hearing bells around then, too. I guess? What was your name, lady? Granny Deborah. Oh, I don't want to go through the spiel again. Also, oh, I thought I freaking jumped in like deep water. Like, no, I don't want to freaking die in like town in front of people. And with that, the spiritual ceremony is complete. The car's guarding and now rests safely within the child's body. Oh, my sweet one, isn't that wonderful? Lady Lise, thank you. Thank you so very much. It is of no consequence. I merely wish the child to grow up healthy in both mind and body. A newborn comes to this world lacking the guiding lantern of a guardian. I'm about to say, oh, I don't want to talk to you and your baby. You are... I heard tell every night accompanying a researcher who seeks Castle Strange Rock. That would be you, I presume? I'm the head priestess of the Spirit Sanctum. Please call me Lise. I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, something rather unsettling happened in the ruins of the north. I'm afraid all travel there is barred until the investigation ends. Hmm? You wish to enter the back alley ruins? Why would you desire to do that? So it was Spence. That man is quite troublesome at times. Very well, then. You may enter, but be warned. Monsters have made their home inside. Please be sure you're well equipped before setting foot in the ruins. Allow me to give you the key to access the area. Give you the back alley ruins key. Knights such as yourself have gone off seeking Castle Strange Rock and never come back. As you proceed within the ruins, you may chance upon those who didn't return. Ooh. Do be careful. Okay, bonus points. About allocating bonus points. When you have leveled up, you can allocate the bonus points you earned to your attributes of the Spirit Sanctum. Use the yeah, buttons to allocate the points, and then click Accept when you're done. You can always reassign your points until you have reached the next level. Okay, I guess. Within the Spirit Sanctum, you may allocate bonus points earned by leveling up to your attributes. Until you have leveled up once more, there is no limit to the times you can adjust those attributes. If you're having difficulty besting your enemies, it would be best to look over your attributes. Do bear in mind, however, your attributes become locked once you've leveled up once more. So is that what that level down thing was? If you regress your abilities any further, your consciousness will fade away, Sir Knight. I believe leveling down any further would be unwise. Okay. Okay, so when you get a level up, you put your points to whatever. To level down is to reduce your overall strength. In your case, both attributes and bonus points will be reverted to what they were one level ago. Of note, though, your weapon skills would stay what they were, and the needed experience to reach the next level again would be reduced by 50%. It offers just a little edge when having to do it over again. You can revert back to any of your previous levels this way. If you want to truly excel, I'd like to advise using this method. Method. Yeah. God, I got dry mouth so bad right now. Okay, so I said these were locked. 
What you doing over here, lady? This is a shrine built to the guardians, fashioned by man and reverence to those who watch over us. Pray here to ask that this child be granted divine protection. You can find shrines like this all over the island. Just by touching them, all your wounds will be healed. It's a much ordeal. I was finally blessed with a child, so I must take every I must make every effort to raise her well. Ooh. A man was killed here yesterday. Murdered. Just north in the Clover Ruins. And not by monsters, but by his own kind. He was a tourist visiting the island. Everyone's still all shook up about it. Ain't no leads on who did it. No one's going in or out of town right now. Not till the investigation's complete. Not till I get the okay. I'll read. Okay, okay. What? Keys into the back alley ruins. Okay. Oof, I'm going on 40 minutes. Alrighty. So, yeah. Use the back alley ruins key. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys. When I come back, I'm actually going to start the back alley ruins and actually get plot stuff done. Instead of just talking for... 40 freaking minutes. So until then, this is Save Night on Let's Play Xanadu Next. Later, guys.